the Nile, not just a river in Egypt. We've seen it before. Here it comes again in Secretary Rumsfeld's return. Can he sell a book that says the Iraq war was right and the mistakes weren't his? Can he take one more ride on denial? Your question, did Congratulate. you advise the president to go to war? Yeah. Uh, he did not ask me, is, is the question. And to my knowledge, there are any number of people he did not ask. Did that surprise his, his you as response. Secretary of Defense? Well, I thought it was interesting. Wow, welcome back. That was former Defense Secretary Donna Rumsfeld on Hardball back in 2004. He told me he was not consulted on the decision to invade Iraq as Defense Secretary. Now he's out with a memoir. Rumsfeld writes, quote, two weeks after the worst terrorist attack in our nation's history, those of us in the Defense Department were fully occupied. But the president wanted new plans and he wanted the options to be creative. Bob, you wrote several books on the subject of the Bush war team, and the third was entitled State of Denial. Are they still in denial? Why is he scampering away from responsibility for the war? Well, he is. I am, in fairness, Rumsfeld should have his say, and I, and I have not read the book, but this idea that two weeks after 9-11, I interviewed Rumsfeld on the record. It's on the Pentagon website, and he confirms what Bush said in his memoirs. It was in November, the day before Thanksgiving, that Bush called him in. This was a moment of intoxication. It looked like they were going to win the Afghan war at that point. And Bush kind of said, let's do it. But if you again go into the records, it's Rumsfeld who's pushing Iraq a day, two days after 9-11. That's what we have at NBC, that that is in fact the record that coming in the tank there when they were and, talking. And, and, you know, when when these people write memoirs, they, you know, their researchers go through and they say, you know, you've got this problem, and they say, well, let's not write about that. And they, they just, it, it's not in the this book. Guy, <laughs> I don't have much time for this guy. He was the worst Secretary of Defense in American history. I mean, you know, he was really, he came in with a single focus, which was trans transformation of the military and then he got involved in and he was going to fight Iraq in a new lightweight different way and then he got stuck there and he didn't follow through he wasn't interested the uniform military the generals hated this guy because he cared more about how we were going to face China 10 mm -hmm. years from now than what we were going to do in Iraq try next writing week. an American history book for for high school kids right now explaining why we went to war with Iraq and who made the decision it's hard to get the basic fact right. down I don't have much time for this guy. He was the worst Secretary of Defense in American history. 